Chapter 6 Logarithms In grade 11 functions, we learned about exponential functions and how it takes the form y equals b to the x. In 6.1, we cover exponential functions and its inverse. The inverse of an exponential function is a reflection on the line y equals x. The properties of exponential functions and their inverse are similar. The inverse function has a domain of x is greater than 0 and y is an element of all real numbers. Exponential functions have a horizontal asymptote and no vertical asymptote, whereas its inverse is vice versa. This also goes for their x and y intercepts. 6.2 we cover logarithms. For the inverse of an exponential function, it can be expressed in two ways. x equals y to the b and y equals log x base b, which is also known as a logarithmic function. In other words, say I had 2 to the x equals 32. How would I isolate x? I could do guess and check, but that would take too long. So we could do logarithms. But how would I calculate it? We use a calculator. By using x equals log power over log base, we can easily find the exponent. 6.3 covers trans transformations of logarithmic functions, which is just a recall from previous math lessons, where a represents the stretch Vertical stretch or compression, K represents the horizontal stretch or compression, and D and C represent vertical and horizontal shifts. For example, G at X equals negative log 2X plus 2 minus 5, there, which has a reflection on the X axis, a horizontal compression by a factor of 1 over 2, and moves 2 units to the left and 5 units down. 6.4 covers the power law of logarithms, which states that log x to the power of n base b equals n log x base b. For example, log 16 to the 5 base 4 equals 5 log 16 base 4. But remember, when the base is not stated, it is assumed that it is base 10. 6.5 makes connections to several physical sciences, such as the pH scale, the Richter scale, and decibel scale. The pH scale uses pH equals negative log H, where H is the concentration of the hydronium ions. The Richter scale uses M equals log I over I0, where I is the intensity of the earthquake and I0 is the intensity of a low standard low le level earthquake. And finally, the decibel scale, where it uses beta T minus beta 1 equals 10 log I2 over I1, and L equals 10 log I2 over I1, where I2 and I1 are intensities of the two sounds in watts per meter. That's all, folks.